I see you've come back. We meet again. This time, you want to see the results. You want to see if you had what it take, what it took to win E.T. the Talent Master or something. Because I swear if I say E.T.'s got talent, I'm going to get sued for copyright infringement or something. There's some shit going to go down, so I got to come up with my own original title. Point is, you submitted your videos. I took a look at them. I took a second look at them. I submitted my own video and beat you all to it. I won my own prize. Boom. I already knew it. I knew that was going to happen. I just wanted to test my skills. I was wet. <sighs> that would be the stupidest shit. Can you imagine if I actually did that? <laughs> if I just entered my own competition and, and just won my own prize. Now, I know you all want to see the, the winner, all right? But we're going to go through the honorable mentions. Now, there's a lot of videos that could have been in this category, okay? And I just had to have a cutoff and these were videos that not necessarily in terms of like the most skilled, not even the most um, like, I mean, these are good videos that I really enjoyed and I had some sense of satisfaction when I was watching them. And some of them were kind of like creative and kind of took me off guard and that's kind of how they came in here, right? Um, there's a lot of videos that you guys posted of great performances, great, you know, moves, great stuff. Keep up the good work. Keep doing what you do. Let's get into the video and see the honorable mentions and then we will move on to your winner. So this one doesn't have any video, I mean any, any sound, but I really like this guy's uh, coin work. I mean, look at that. That just looks nice. Boom and boom. Very nice. Very nice. That retention is, is great. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That transfer, so cool. I don't even know what that's called, but... I've tried it and it's uh, very hard. Now this guy does my favorite flourish, my favorite cut, sorry. That I never got down so I might create my own one. This was a really cool edit. Very cool edit. It was really fun and entertaining when I was watching it. I was like, ooh, I could really feel it. I could groove to it. Mm. The cuts were like, I don't know, the cuts just added that flavor in it. Very nice. Look at that. Just a fun, fun, like, video, you know? Just very fun, like, highly enjoyed it. I love it when, edit, like, music is edited and, and you kind of create a compilation. That's always fun. This is and I from All right, India, here we go. And this is my submission for Edward Carlos contest. Now, this is very interesting. Now, here's a very sh uh, shuffle deck of cards. What I do is, I separate all the black cards from all the red cards. Now, what I loved about this was the idea I would never present it the way he's presenting it. Um, he, he has the whole time travel plot, but he takes it like seriously. Personally, I would say if I was to time travel, this is what it would look like. And I'd pretend, you know, like I'd get, I'd make sure they they understand that I'm, you know, I'm saying like, I, I can't time travel, you're an idiot, right? Um, I just I just don't so like to claim anything like that. All the red, uh, red cards from all the black cards. Even lightheartedly, it's just not my style, but you know. So it is very important for you to remember that I have separated all the red cards to my right side and all the black cards to my left side. So let's cut this deck exactly where red card and the black card meets. This was a very interesting concept. When I saw it, so now I liked it. I'll shuffle this red pile in a very different manner. That is some face down and some face up. Basically this will create a mess. The idea of this is crazy okay, once more. because it's a triumph with colors, with... I'll do the same thing you the black you'll pile. See. So he shuffles face up, face down, both piles. Face down, face up. Very cool, man. Creating a mess. So far it's and a pretty shuffling. typical... Once more. Pretty typical, I mean, not typical rut flight like routine, but... We've seen no. this before, but this is an interesting idea. The top, of, top card of the red pile, that is three of hearts. I'll put this in the last position. Mm. And same thing with the last top card of the black pile, that is king of club, putting it to the last position. Now we all know that nobody has control over time. Is it true? Let's check out. 
on every snap of mine the condition of death will go back in time check this out as i snapped the card that we put in the last position will come back on top very cool i've done this Now, exact this i think this is in uh as i snapped twice the position of this deck will go back in time exactly 45 seconds so the red pile which was some card face down and face up is now all face down yeah and same thing with the black pile now if you can remember on starting i have put all the red cards to my right side and all the black cards to my left side but if i'll snap thrice the deck will go back 1 minute in time and the entire deck is shuffled very cool right and it just ends clean it ends in that finale so this is a card trick that never happened Yeah, it's it's such a cool idea. It's like a mix of triumphs of all so the stuff. So we have the aces Dustin, the and the boy also kings, has a pretty cool okay. idea here. Uh, and the kings will go face up right here, and the aces will go face down right there, and we'll mix up the rest of the deck. Okay, give it a cut, and we're going to put the aces separated into the rest of the face up pack. They're face down separated, as you can see. And when we spread the uh, deck across, you'll see how all these aces end up together. I'll show you what I mean. Huh. There's four cards now together in the middle of the pack. Cool concept. I like it. Go ahead and take them out. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's three. And, and that is four aces. Okay. And when I spread the deck across here, you can see <laughs> the four kings are now That's face so up. That's so cool. It's such a cool concept. All right, this fooled me. This fooled me bad. The first time I saw it, I was like, "Wait a minute, what?" Actually, I, it fooled me twice. I, I had to like watch like three or four times to figure it out. Very cool. I mean, that was awesome. The Sharpie. This was an awesome, awesome idea. Simple as that. But I loved it. I loved it. That was a really cool idea. Okay, this one, I, if I have to give an advice, I would say, um, when you take it out of the box, distance yourself, distance the box from the deck. That's the only thing I can, I can. Uh, Any advice I can give you? Otherwise, it's very really good. This was an interesting one because the handling of the deck was so strange, so unique that I was like, man, like I I like this dude. Just he just he handles the deck in such a unique way. Like look at the way, like he shuffles. I mean, I understand why he's doing it that way, but still, I've never seen anyone handle the pack in the exact in this exact way. Maybe I'm just not. Uh, I haven't seen, you know, whoever he's inspired from, but it seems very interesting. Very cool. I kind of feel it's like the messy feel, you know. Like the whole deck's just really messy. That's my ace number two. It's really cool how he did the, the music as well. You can tell it's live, so he's just jamming to the music. That's awesome. It's kind of a feel-good moment, you know. Do, 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 do. Just pretty clean cuts and everything, man. I mean, you got chops for sure, man. You got chops for sure. See, this is actually. Pretty hard to do. I mean, I've tried it, and uh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, the kicker is pretty good, huh? Would you look at that? The pack is in order, boys. It's all in order. Those are the uh, honorable mentions. You know, these 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 dudes, all the people in these in these videos were beasts. All right. Either they had something creative, just somehow somehow stood out to me as I was watching him. I was like, whoa, and and it kind of made me kind of curious about what they do. So uh, I will try to put all their uh, Reddit usernames. I don't. I'm gonna try to credit them usernames in the description. Hopefully, I don't miss anyone out. And now for the winner, your champion, your ET. 
talent show champion of the week. Okay? I say that as if it's going to happen every week. Probably won't. Of the month is... Drum roll! Is someone that goes by the name of The Sting. Now this guy is a serious dude, man. This guy is a serious dude. I was not expecting someone to enter of this caliber. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you The Sting. Just clean, just clean. Puts it in the middle. Not the top. But if you just shake, now it's on top. Just clean, bro. Just clean. <laughs> you thought he was done. You thought he was done. Oh no, he ain't done. Not even close, baby. This is... If you do this move, you know what he's doing right now is very decent. I'm not as good as that. I'm not as consistent as that with that move. The only way I'm consistent, as consistent is with a bigger brief. Let's put it that way. I'm going to straight up say it. Is this uh, stacking? I think it might be stacking, huh? Yeah. Very cool. But it's a four stack. Now, uh, how do he, st he four stacked with two riffles? Do you guys know what that means? Four stacking with two riffles, dude? That's ridiculous. <laughs> you guys know, you guys know that's my shit right there. This guy's clean, man, I'm telling you. This homie is clean. Cut the pack, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Daniel Madison, is that you, dude? Is that you? Damn, man. Yeah, this is nice shit, man. You can't. I mean, strictly speaking, this isn't really magic, it's more uh, demonstrations, but damn, this is some clean ass work. Aces on bottom of the pack. Damn, son. <laughs> That is crazy. Interesting that he, he he straight cuts from the from the the through the the through action. He straight cuts down. I usually pull it out and then cut and then cut. Anyway, cut multiple times, but interesting that he did it that way. Gotta get that pharaoh. Gotta get that pharaoh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Woo! Did he just do that? Holy shit. Alright, I see you, man. I see you. <laughs> wow, dude. And you know what the kicker is? This dude has four subscribers. Four. <laughs> oh man, that's mad. Alright, that's that's insane. That's insane. So now you know. If you didn't know before, now you know. Go and subscribe to the homie, the one and only, the myth, the legend, the sting. Okay, it's written with a with a weird symbol that I feel like I've learned in physics or something. But uh <laughs> This thing, he's on, uh, I'll put the links in the description, I'll put the links in the comments. I will be reacting to his other video that he has on his YouTube in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. The, the dude deserves it. Well, well done, dude. I mean, that was mad respect for that shit right there. You 100% deserve this to win this, so 
impress me a lot. I hope you impress the audience. I know you impress you guys. And uh, definitely go subscribe to this guy. Four subscribers. Come on. He's only got four subscribers with, with this shit, dude. Are you serious? So, link will be in the description. Link will be in the comments. Go do what you gotta do. Go support local talent. Appreciate everyone that entered the competition. I did watch every single one of your submissions. And I appreciate the, the amazing responses that you guys did. You really went all out and, uh, you know, means a lot to me. I'm glad you guys were able to take part of this. I hope people that, you know, non-magicians, people watching had fun uh, with this competition. And uh, there will be more in the future. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do leave a like, subscribe. I do daily videos. Follow me on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All the links are down below. And as always, matter of respect, much love, stay lit. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.